Oh shit! Oh shit! Alright, gotta warm these little sausages in front of the heater. Get a nice char grill going. <laughs> Considering I just swam through the death pools of the frozen lake of Cthulhu. Pretty sure this is gonna all end with Cthulhu. Like, if it doesn't end with that this thing was Cthulhu, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck? Because <laughs> it's it's really leaning towards some like Lovecrafty uh love Lovecraftian Cthulhu fucking crazy bullshit. All right. Oh, okay. Time to get a wiggle on. Oh, hello. Oh. The Trawlerman. From 12 Coastal Poems by Craig Henry Campbell. Oh, I wonder if maybe this will be like a little... A hint towards what we're dealing with, possibly. That'd be interesting. From o'er the fulmar, huddled close together in flock against the winter brine. Black shine, the stone of echoed sounds, home to yellow lights, of travellers stayed and bound. By heavy midnight calm upon the shoals of cold north singing, old bearers grip upon the tiller. Below, uh, down below the faded boards and hand-smoothed tokens speak of scrabbles lost and won. The morning watcher turns her gaze to... To see where turns spill and clouds I can't even read properly and the clouds her charges slumber on beneath their blanket spun of shingled home we do not miss you precious weans though as sleep as we sleep waves break the bow those storms gathered beneath the bro brow of winter and woolen gathers now the clouds and still wakes the deep and still on we plow. Okay, no, that is interesting. Okay. That ending felt very, very relevant. Uh. Very interesting. Oh, it's turning to nighttime too. That's not good. That's really not good. Hello? Roy, fuck's sake. I'm sorry, pal. I've been away out of the shop since I last seen you. What's going on, Kaz? What happened with the chopper? A cunt tried to go away at us, but... Well, didn't they work out well for him or the bird? Bloody hell, Kaz. Is anyone alive? Aye, I saw Finlay. We had to get the jennies on. And Brody as well, helping with the tension legs. Do you know what? I'm a fucking rig expert now. <laughs> 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 I saw O'Connor. Mm. He's one of these things, but I thought. Ah, fuck, I don't know what I thought, but whatever it is, folk are being turned into. There's something of them still in there. What's going on, Roy? Uh, it's, it's all right. Um, uh, it's just me being clumsy. I want to get my shot, I'll be right as rain. Right. Do you need me to come and get you? No, no, I can do it. Uh, you saw this rig out? I know where to get us home. See you, girls. All right? Hi. You're a good lad, Kaz. That's why Suze loves you. She does, you know. She really loves you. Oh, shit! Kaz? Hi. Sorry, I have to go, Roy. Will you make it to the cabins all right? Yeah, I'm on the way now. You, uh, be on yours. Wait, you haven't made it there yet? I'm praying for you, mate. Remember... Jesus loves you, Kaz. Everyone else thinks you're a gun. <laughs> <laughs> right, pal. <laughs> Lefters. Ah, God, I hope Roy makes it. Don't die on me, Roy. You're the only one on this fucking rig I can actually bother to care about, really. <laughs> and, and Finley. Finley. Finley's another winner. I'm gonna close this. Close, please. Please close it. Thank you. Alright, let's get a move on. Jesus Christ. Hello? 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 Is anyone there? Ah, it's Gideon. Listen, I, I don't have long. I left away my mum. I had to get to... She's hurting me. I'm going to have my heat stuck. Suze! 
Is that you? Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> this was slightly goodly attacking and all. Going to be a wee boxer, eh? Aye, uh, you wish. I wish I could see you. Oh, we're You're losing it. Aye? Well, I feel like an elephant. Chris, what is this? Suze! Hang up. Just hang up. Suze? We're losing it, dude. We are losing it. Something, something's going really wrong here. We are losing it. Okay, let's go. I, I'm telling you, this is some, like, madness disease mixed with monsters and all kinds of crazy shit. It's got Cthulhu written all over it. Where's Batman when you need him? Oh, God. The world's greatest it's detective. Yeah, it is. It's growing. Oh. It is beautiful, though. Look at that. Like, what a glow. But terrifying and ominous when you know what it's doing. All right, let's go. Oh, oil dripping and everything. One spark. And fuck. Ah. All right. Well, good thing we don't have our lighter on us. Jesus. Jesus Christ! What the fuck is happening to me? Ah. Come on! Come on! <laughs> Oh, wow. This stuff is strong. It punched right through the metal. Okay. I just want to know if it's the creature making that sound or if it's... I, it is. It obviously is, I guess. But does it have a mouth or is it just coming off it? Like somehow the noise is just coming off this creature. I'm coming. Oh man, I am so glad to see you. Brody. Fucking hell, how you doing? Oh. Better than you, but the looks of it. Did you see any others? You mean anyone alive? Well, I spoke to Roy. He's no doing great without his insulin. And I've no idea where Finley is now. I spoke to her a few minutes ago. She's stuck until she gets past Rennick. Or what used to be Rennick. It feels like everybody's deed or worse. I don't know about your side of the pontoons, but where I was, the oil tanks are burst, and I think there's a gas leak. I mean, <laughs> I'm looking for a fucking bright side here. Well, let's cross that bridge when we come to it, all right? Right now, we have to deal with the stack. Oh, that's a dark that noise. Aye, okay. All right, the stack. I'm kind of thinking the flare shouldn't be looking like that. No, the main feed's ruptured. It's burning out. It could get worse. Oh. If it does, it could spread to the derrick and cause an explosion. Right, so we're fucked. Again. Yep. Not if we switch the flare onto the auxiliary gas pipe. If you go over to the processing quad, I Wait, can... What? Have you seen it out there? Oh, aye, it's quite nice in here. You know, maybe we should swap. Yeah. You can't work the controls, Cash. Otherwise, I, of course, I'd go myself. Christ. You can teach me. All right. All right, what am I doing? You need to get there and find the diverter valve, main to the auxiliary. It's on the middle floor, flare side. I'll ignite the stack from here. Right. If I can't do it, then you'll need this. Jesus. I'll be on the tannoy if you need any help. Good luck, Kaz. Great. I swear... It'd probably be easier for you to just teach me how to use this than do all that, but okay, sure, whatever. Fucking Brody's throwing me to the wolves. Is this... Nope. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. I guess I'm going back down. Alright, let's do this! Let's get shit done. We're getting off this fucking rig. Not that way. Can I get in here? Yep. Anything of interest? Nope. Alright, let's go. Let's get a move on. Oh, shit! 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 Oh. 
Don't you dare. You prick. right now are you serious don't don't oh shit oh shit no what am I supposed to do gonna have to wait a little bit longer because I'm not moving for a bit I have to clean my pants <laughs> that was bullshit oh now I have to go out there ah. fine fine let's do it then here he comes No! No! Next time. Get out of there, you brick! My old tricks. Have we played this game before, except for when we were down in the engineering room? You make it sound like we've been doing this for a long time. You are so disgusting. Coming this way, isn't he? Yep, yeah, here he comes. Somebody else. Charlie, what's happening? Are you alright? I'm trying. <laughs> Fuck off. Ada, you need to learn how to control your temper, sir. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad. Keep going. Keep going. Fucking walking scrotal exam. Woo! <laughs> Good thing he's dumb. We good. Right? Was that it? Guys, I can see the feet switching here. Glad you're alright. I've started the igniter. Give it a sec. All right. Uh, can't he see anything? Of course you can, because I'm not that fucking lucky. Mm -hmm. No, it's not working. The gas is pulled back toward the rig. I'm sorry, Kaz. I need you to do it manually. It's too dangerous to leave it. You'll have to head out onto the stack and use the relighter again. Fuck. Did you hear me, Kaz? Wave or something so I know you're receiving. Prick. Ha! Understood. God speed, speed, speed. Yeah, fuck you too. Ah. 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 Come on. Jesus. All right. Just get out of here, light the shit, get back on. Jesus, you're fucking Fuck. joking me. Are you serious? Fuck. <laughs> Holy 
shit, it's right on my ass! Fuck's sake! Uh. Woo! Holy shit, he was close! I'm trying to save us, you stupid fucking bastard! Wow! Ah. Come on! Get up there, you prick! Run! I see the squeeze through there. Whoa! Oh, Oh! Oh, that's a lot of gas. Shit! I'm doing this! Yeah! Woo! Well, that was your dumb mistake! That's not my fault! Oh no, oh no, oh no, he's gonna be like on fire and chasing me now. God damn it. Why? Whoa! Screw it! Ah! Go, 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 go! Jesus. Oh! Oh, wee! Oh, wee! I'm trying! Mate, I'm out here doing fucking hurdles and you're in that office. Shut the fuck up! Oh, shit! Oh, no. Oh, shit! You're joking. How much quicker could I have gone? I was like in a full sprint. Gears pieces. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, love. I'm not being difficult. I'm just trying to pick up the pieces of your mess. He wouldn't let it go, okay? He's carried a fucking torch for you since school. He's always hated me for being the bigger man and for having you and those beautiful fucking wings. Oh, no. Bigger man! You are shitting me, McLean! You're the bigger man! Do you think your daughter's got more brains and bigger balls than you have? What about the kids? The flat's in your name, you go to Berlin and they just take it away! Listen, Suze, come on! No, no, you just you shut it, McLean! You sit your arse down and you... You just listen to me! How could we not just talk about this? Because I am smarter than you, that's why! And I will not, I will not let you drag those girls down to you. You sort this! Whatever you have to do, I don't care. If you sort this one, I will leave you. You understand? Seriously. Stuff in my eye. I have just enough. Okay, just, just get out of my sight. Try not to put anyone else in hospital the day, yeah? That might make a nice change for you. Mm, so it was like a high school lovers thing, I'm assuming. That's why he was saying he's been carrying the torch for you ever since. I'm guessing that the guy was her ex. Why do you have to. Ah, Suze. Oh no. Jesus Christ. Oh, What's happened? Fuck. Why why Jesus. Why does everything look like that all of a sudden? Uh, Jesus ah, you bastard. Oh no. Oh no. The red glow makes this look so much more ominous. This is fucked! <laughs> oh god. This is getting like real biblical. Literal Red Sea. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Susan, what is this fucking stuff doing to me? It's making you crazy, man. Try not to pay attention to it. Ignore it. I got a feeling that the the whole situation was possibly that he got her pregnant, Suze, this this other guy. Then he hooked up with Suze, ended up raising that guy's kids, but as his own, maybe, because that's why he was like saying like he's always been annoyed with me for stepping up and raising those two kids, or like you know. Ah. Oh. 
Oh shit! So either that's the case, and they were actually supposed to be that other guy's kids, but he just wasn't ready. Or the other option is Oh those look like teeth. Um that maybe they were both in similar positions where that dude got Sue's pregnant, but then was like, I'm not ready for this, so she had an abortion. But when this, when uh, Kaz got her pregnant, he was like, I'm actually going to step up and be a father. And then they probably got into some argument. Oh, here we go. And thus, homie ended up in the hospital. <laughs> oh! Oh, no. Yeah. I got this. I got this. Oh! Christ, what were they up to? Brody, if you read this, I'll meet you in engineering. I did my bit. Your plan better work. Last chance, F. Finley! I'm guessing I'm not going that way. Oh, we're going back into engineering. At least the lights are on now. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, this whole place is going down! Come on. Just keep it together. Keep it together. Keep it together. You gotta do this. Keep it together. Finley. No way through. Engineering is full of oil. We can do this. I don't want to give up. We can get out. We lost Kaz, but we can sort this. Don't do anything stupid, Brody. Oh. You haven't lost me. I'm still here. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Come on. Come on. Avoid that barrel. Let's try not to make any unnecessary noise. Fuck's sake. Fuck. Yes, 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 yes. I'm here! Finley. Jesus Christ. Cleary, how the fuck are you no dead? I thought I was. You fit to help? Christ, can anything help? Aye, if we can cut ourselves loose and quick like, it'll buy us time, maybe enough. Do we even know if anyone's coming? We've been off radio for hours, so aye, I should hope so. Finley. Good. Let's... Cass? Oh. Aye, aye, he's a walking, greeting miracle. <laughs> Are we doing this or no? Aye. We float the rig. I'll dive down and release the tension cables. Hopefully we balance out, maybe end up higher in the water. I'll need you both in marine control. It's Roy. Hello, can anyone hear me? I'm stuck up. It hits our fucking hutch on the accommodation roof. I don't know how long I can last without insulin. He's up on the roof. I have to get him. No. Is anybody out there? You have to get to marine control with Finley. Please. It's a two-man job and we don't have much time. You think Roy does? I can't just leave him. I promised I'd get him home. Ah, let him go. Fine. If you want to go, go. But this place is filling up with gas and oil from the drill to the derrick. God knows where else it's leaking to. I can't recommend it. I know, Brody. But I'm going. I have to. Engineering's your only path up there, and it's flooded, so you'll have to swim. It's a long way. Plan each step. And if you're underwater, stay calm. Yep. Oh, aye, that's exactly how that'll go. <laughs> you both know what you're doing, so let's go. Right here, Brody. Oh, you your nerve, all right, McCleary? I'm coming, Roy. Yeah, it's Roy. I'll find you. We gotta do it for Roy. If it wasn't Roy, I'd fucking leave him. Also, why do you swim so goddamn slow? Freaking... I've never met a man who swims like this. It's like he's carrying bricks in his pocket. <sighs> Cool. Alright. 
Oh, it's gotten worse. Ah! Stop that. Stop fast. Um. Ah! Come on. Are you serious right now? Go, go, go! Oh. oh, almost drowned. More blood. Ah, oh, we're going back in! Fuck! I'm coming, Roy. I'm coming for you, buddy. Am I going in here? No. I'm going up. Oh. This way. Oh, is that a drill? Holy shit. Uh, this way. Coming. Oh. Go here. I've got a feeling I'll have to anyway. Yep. Oil in here. There must be a leak somewhere. Fuck. That's all we need. Oh. Ah. The cold alone would be just absolutely horrible. should have maybe crap I'm gonna drown I'm totally gonna fucking drown come on I got this you got this no nah. no nah, I need it yeah nah. there was no way there was no way Get up to here first before we go under. <laughs> Might buy me those extra few seconds. All right, let's do this. Come on. Come on. We got this. We got this. Come on. Almost there, yes! Oh. Oh. This stuff is absolutely disgusting. Shit. Mm. Come on! This I can get into. It's like back when I was a teenager doing some parkour. Just gotta stay focused, 
see the line ahead of you as you tackle it. And hope and pray you don't eat shit. Woo! What? I did! I did! That was annoying. I totally clicked it. I clicked it. That was that was annoying as fuck. Oh, that was weird. That was hella weird. Oh! Oh shit! It's still going higher. That was weird as fuck. I was like, I thought I was dead. No, I was just chilling in the water. Alright, we're almost there. We're almost there, Roy. I'm coming, buddy. Gotta warm ourselves up, get nice and toasty. Fucking nightmare. Get that blood flowing. <sighs> this can't be real. Come on, guys, come on, keep it together. For fuck's sake. It's real enough, mate. <laughs> well, enough waiting around. That would be the trip out if all of this was actually just in his head somehow. But I got a feeling it's not. Yeah. <laughs> coming, buddy. I'm coming. I don't know how the hell we're supposed to get him out. I haven't seen any situation ooh, where we can actually lead someone or anything. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Weird shape, man. Yeah. For sake. <laughs> All right. Ignore it. Keep going. Ignore it. Yeah. Okay. Don't you start that shit. Fuck. Oh, of course. <laughs> Woo! Ah, <laughs> oh, something's moving around. Shit. Oh, that that closed. Oh, oh. Oh god. Shit. Why? Blech. Shit. Oh, look at that spine and ribs and all sorts. That's great. Yeah, they love the body horror in this game, don't they? And you know what? I applaud them for it. I'm, I'm actually... I hate and love this at the same time. It's, you can tell it's got some Junji Ito vibes. Oh! Oh! Dude having the shower must have just got absolutely nailed up into the roof. Can I get up there? No. Oh, of course, I, I gotta go oh, in here. Great. Ah. Bust. Yeah. Oh! Hey, man. Well, at least you got to have a nice hot shower before things went to hell. I'm going this way. Fuck! Oh! Oh! That's how you stay over there. Yeah. Oh, don't do that! Oh, it went right for me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on!
You know what's crazy? I think I'm actually starting... Oh, fuck. I think... I was about to say, I think I'm starting to like this type of game style, but now I'm not so sure. Uh. No! No, 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 don't do that to me. Oh, fuck. Oh, no! Jesus. Ah! Get in here. Oh, you were trying to- oh, I see, I think you were trying- were you trying to escape, or were you just book hoarding? What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Fucking poor bastard. Alright, whatever. It is what it is. Okay. You guys got just ah. taken out. Shit. No, he's looking for me. Fuck, fuck. What the hell? How did they get like that? Yeah. Christ. The trolls do this. Oh. What is it that they do? They just like, just absolutely rip them apart and deform them almost. This. All right. Oh, roof access. But I'm so close. Get in here. Someone be here. Stop making noise, guys. Oh no. Is he too cold? Go away. Oh no, he's getting closer. Is he or isn't he? I can't tell. Oh. Come on. Come on. supposed to go oh this way oh shit that doesn't help me 
Where am I supposed to? Down? Does this go down? No? Oh, in here. Quickly! Oh. This is kind of sad seeing all these. Oh, is here. oh, yes! I was about to say, it's kind of sad seeing all these guys' rooms and realizing that 90% of them are all dead. Actually, probably more. Oh, crap. I'm gonna have a go through you. I'm coming, Roy. Please don't be dead. No! Fuck off! Yeah! Eat a dick! Eat a thousand dicks! I've got to go. Ah! Oh. Roy! Roy! He up here! Where are you? Roy! Come on, buddy! Sound off! <laughs> Shit. Jesus, he's moving out of the other place. Dude, what the f Look at this. What is going on? It's like creating a tower or something. God almighty. I must be it. Thank Christ. Roy! Come on. Roy. Oh no, please don't be dead. My... Please don't be dead. Come on, Roy. Hit him with the insulin. Roy, wake up, you prick. Hit him with the insulin. Please wake up. Wake up, come on. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, you bastard. Don't leave me here. You might as well use it. We don't need it. Please, back, man. Come on, back. Christ, don't leave me. Roy, don't leave me. I can't do this, man. I'm scared, Roy. I'm fucking terrified. What am I going to tell Susan? <laughs> I mean, she's going to fucking kill me, man, you know? She loved you, big man. She really loved you. So did my girls. I mean, what am I going to tell you? Eh? <laughs> oh, sorry. Your Uncle Roy's not coming home. Aye, I know. Me and Ollie. I love this big man, do you hear me? I loved him. Damn it. We just went and got his insulin for him. There's a chance he'd be alive. What the hell? Oh. Who's this? Finley, Kaz. You got it today, good. Look, Kaz, the wall's up to admin, so I couldn't get to marine control. You need to try and get there from where you are, all right? Jesus. Aye. That English bastard better come and off. You can't stay in that hut forever, no. Guys, guys, you still there? Roy didn't make it. Now start to worry, like. Roy making a fuss? Put him on. I'll get him tail. Guys, for fuck's sake, what's going on? Roy's no coming. Ah, oh, Jesus. God, did he not make it? It was too late. I'm sorry, Kaz. No. We all love the big man, eh? I let him do. He was relying on me. No, no. No, you did everything you could. You've been back for him. None of this is your fault. It's not anyone's. Look, I'm sorry, Kaz, but we need your help here. We're all fucking good doing otherwise. Aye. I want half this fucking wreck. Good. 
You need to find a way across the deck. Get to marine control room. Call me when you get there, and I'll talk you through it. All right? Right. Marine control room it is. Yeah, where the fuck is that? <sighs> Look at that thing. It's like pushing energy out. Alright. Yep. Oh. Oh, oh, that was close. Has that even got any hold? Fuck. Have faith. Oh. Come on, come on. Steady. Oh ho oh, oh. ho. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's a long way down. Christ. There we go. The quicker we get off this thing, the better. What the f... What? Oh, you're joking. Maybe it's because I was looking at it. That could be possibly it. Go on, get, get in there, get in there. There we go. <laughs> oh no. Another big fear of mine is heights. This is terrible. What the hell is that? Was that always there? What the fuck? Looks like a like a big crater. Oh shit. Oh. Uh, shit. Come on. Almost there. We're almost home. Shit. Oh. We got this. We got this. Is that? Is that from the creep? Oh, that's from the creature. Here we go. She's Ow. <gasps> oh, yes. Is that a fucking spaceship? <laughs> Don't touch it. Anything family doesn't tell me to. You're not wrong. We gotta get on the phone. Jesus, fuck. Rope. Not oh, you at all. Nice and slow. It's alright. Yeah, take it easy. Let me make a call. Yeah? Hi. Right. We're good. There we go. Where is the phone? Not back here. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Finley. I'm at Marine Control. I'm, uh, I'm not alone. Fuck. Is it that bastard, Renick? No, no, no. Jesus. Jesus. It's, it's Roper. He's all messed up. Cass, listen to me, all right? Listen. All right. We need to keep it together. All right, just tell me what to do. There's only two switches. You just have to find them. First, find the ballast operations panel. There'll be a switch there to put it into manual control. You flip that switch. 
Go do that, and then I'll talk you through the next part. All right? Aye, all right. I'll look for it. Ballast operations. Oh, fuck. Uh, let's just hope it's not near him. You'll be all right. Shit. Manual control. Manual control, manual control. Stop platoon. No. Ballast operations. Ballast operations. That's what she said, right? Set ballast control to manual. Yeah, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Why is it locked? Fuck's sake. Oh fuck, he's got the key, doesn't he? Alright, Roper, let's have it. Come on. Give it to me. There it is. Alright, thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Alright, pal. Here we go. I'll look after this now. Don't you start no shit. Don't you dare. Keep her. Renick, keep Renick away. Oh, Ooh. oh, okay, yep, yep. Thank, thank you. Right, and away we go. Okay, off in. Switch is at manual. Right. What's next? Now you flood the forward pontoon and I mean flood it to the fucking brim. Well, hold on a minute. Pontoons are already fuck full of oil and gas. This might push it all up to the deck. We don't have a choice. The whole rig could tip over. Flooding that pontoon will at least give us a fighting chance. What about Brody? Is he no down there? He'll be out of there by now. He's done his part. We just have to do it all things, <laughs> right? All right. It's coming for me. Oh no. Keep him away. What was that? It's Roper. Never mind him. Flood the forward pontoon. I, I, hang on. Uh, I'll do my best, Roper. Uh, forward pontoon. Forward pontoon. Okay. Flood. Back to Finley. Okay. Or Finley. All right, that's done. No one. That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on, what? It's moving. Did it work? Fucking aye. See, not the hope was after all, eh? Oh, thank Christ, Finley. What now? Brody's got a plan. Meet us in drill ops as soon as you can. Okay, I'll meet you there. We're gonna be alright, Cass. Yeah, I fucking hope so. Yeah. After all this, we better bloody be alright. Ah! Jesus! Roper! Roper! You asshole! Fuck! You betrayed me! You betrayed my trust! Oh. Oh my god. I hated that. Oh, it's right here. Never mind. What? Random? All right, down we go. Oh, Jesus. Am I losing my mind? Thought that was pretty evident by now. Okay, we're good. No. This way. Oh shit! No, 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 no. Whoa! Holy crap! Alright, well, we're not going that way. Oh, ah! Alright. 
just gonna make it through this as quick as I can. Up we go! Ah! Oh. Oh, shite, that was close. Oh, it's like spreading veins now. It's like slowly becoming like... Oh! Fuck you! Oh. Oh. Ugh. not. That looked like the nice way. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Off we go. Almost there. Oh! Oh! Ugh. Jesus fuck. Alright, bye bye! Oh! Oh, oh, this is, this is, no, I wouldn't do. This is so. No. E oh, e oh! Even just swimming around all this is horrifying. Come on, up we go, up we go. Oh. oh, this is a nice little office. Barely touched. Never mind. Where the fuck's the phone? Come here. Shush! Shush! What's... Oh no, I'm starting to think this situation's a lot worse than we thought it was. Jesus. She was saying like, why weren't you watching them? What's going on? And then the kids went missing. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe there's some guilt here, like the kids got kidnapped or maybe they got, I don't know, hurt. Oh shit. Yeah, I got a feeling that the situation with Kaz is a lot deeper than we thought. Woo! No! Where the hell am I going? Where the- Oh! Oh! Oh no! Stop that! No! Holy crap! Where am I going? I'm like, in its bowels! Yeah, I got- oh. Oh no. Here we go. Oh! Oh, is the water rising again? Oh! No, it's reddish! Fuck 
you, Reddit! Fuck you! I hate you! I never liked you and your stupid job anyway! Ah! Oh shit, he's coming for me! Fit through! Whoa! Fuck off! Fuck right off! I'm gonna drown. Come on. Come on! Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, that was. Oh, fuck. Rest in peace, you cunt. <laughs> I've got to get the fuck out of here. Oh, man. I've got a feeling that he's coming back, but. Let's hope not. Oh, we gotta be almost done. I don't think the sh like the strain from the stress in my back is gonna kill me Finley, if we are. Fuck. Oh, Finley. Jeez. There you are. What's going on? Who are you talking to? What's wrong, Finley? What's wrong? What's going on here, Finley? What's going on? Kaz, you made it. Brody, what's wrong with Finley? She's freaked out here. Listen, Kaz. There's no much time. There's oil and gas getting in here. When it fills, it will be headed right up the drill pipe. You on about? I'm still in the pontoons. I've only got a couple of minutes. I can't stop it. The rig's a time bomb now. You understand? One spark, and... You need to find a way off. Just get back up here and we'll work it out, yeah? I can't do that. What? I can't get back up. Wait, no way. I'm sorry. Wait, let's... You're on She's... your own now. I'll come to you. All right? No, you won't. You wouldn't even get halfway to me. The legs flooded and the gas... It... It's not possible. You got your dive gear? Aye. But so you can use that? It's oil, Kaz. There's nothing to be done. I don't fucking see that. I knew the risk when I came down here. Fuck. <sighs> can I lose you as well? Listen, I'm all right, Kaz. I'm... I'm already back on Sky. <sighs> You've never seen water like that, Kaz. Clear. Peaceful. You just let go, and everything's fine. Hi. That sounds beautiful. You go one day. <laughs> All right. No, oh, fuck that. I'm never swimming again after this. Yeah. <laughs> Kaz, you and Finley, you could do this. All right. I'm sure she wouldn't do something so stupid. Really? You there? Cut. What's stupid? Talk to me. It's getting higher. What if I'm here, Brody? I'm not going anywhere. What if I'm here? Get him! Brody. Oh, fuck. Brody. Jesus. Ah, oh, we're losing everyone. What are we there now, Finley? Does it fucking matter? He's dead and you don't think that matters. He was always going to die. Boy, them. Always. You see that? We don't be fucking about with the lakey and pontoons. And without a lot of hell. Watch new pals turn into monsters. Never once. Never fucking once. Have we tried to do what needed to be done? Calm down. I mean, I'm in the nest. She's gonna blow the whole ring. No, come back. Shit. I mean, I'm honestly kind of 
with her on this to a certain degree. Yeah. Yeah, Finley, wait way. a minute. Come back, you're not thinking straight. Like, I get where she's going with this, like... We gotta blow this place, right? Can I get... Fuck! How do I... Ah, I have to go through here? Fuck off, my lady! I'm not coming at you, one of these things! No chance. Mmm! Fucking rig. Finley, you crazy bitch. I get it though. Again, honestly, if I was in a position, I'd probably think to do the same. Oh! Purely because what else are you gonna do? At least try and burn this thing to death and take it with you. Ah! Come on. Holy shit! Come on, come on, come on. Fuck. Oh, Jesus, Finley. <laughs> Fucking hell. Guys. I'm here. Finley, I'm here. Guys. What? What is it you hear? You hear when? You miss you. When it's close. Who do I hear? You hear my wife. I just want to get back to her, Finley. To my wings. I hear my boy. But it was me, you know. I hear him now. Kate. I'm fucking Kate. He's singing. We're not seeing him again. Cast. There's got to be a ship coming. You, you said it yourself. Christ, Cast. We don't want him coming. Yeah. Oh, Jesus! I'm sorry, Phil. I don't know what to do. I'm going to face it, Cast. What do you mean? Ah! We can he get back. We can he. But that can. There's no going to stop with us. Fuck's sake, McCleary. For once in your life. Be brave. Be brave for them. You can't save yourself. You can save them. Jesus, Finley. You want to leave it a chance? Oh. I guess to the mainland. Oh, you know I'm right. I'm almost fucking right. Oh, Christ. We've got to burn this whole thing down. We've got to blow it up. All right. Die, all right. Follow him. That's, yeah. If this deer gets to the mainland, it's just not going to stop. Now, how the hell do I get to the derrick? I guess this way? Right into the belly of the beast. trip out.
this is incredible. Christ. Had a chance. Nah. How are we supposed to stop this? There's only one way. An oil rig worth of explosives. Now the question is, was that enough? You don't recognize me, do you? No, sorry, love. You know me. You could say that. It's been a long time, though, Kaz. Hold up. Susan Lafferty, fuck's sake, is that you? The very same. Christ, Kaz, but you look no different. I've still got the nose, eh? <laughs> well, looks like someone did a good job of spreading it about your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the big man and drink. Jesus, Cass. Because I really want to be thinking about Roy right now. <laughs> he looks after me. He fucking adores you, you know. Well, I am easy to love, Cameron McCree. Yeah. I'm finding that. Shut up, great Suki Jim. I do, though, Suze. I fucking love you. I love you more than anything in this whole world. Did that fan pop? Are you not so bad yourself, all things considered? Marry me. You what? I'm serious. Marry me. I'll make beautiful wings. I want to spend my whole life with you. This is so trippy. She's perfect. She looks just like you. Thank God for that. <laughs> She's got your eyes, though. <laughs> My dad's eyes. I'm sorry, Kaz. I know you'd have wanted him to meet her. Nah, fuck him. The bastard wasn't interested in me. Why would he care about her? He loved you in his way, Kaz. I'll never leave you, Suze. I'll be at your side forever. I'm always going to be here for this win. Wait, was that... Was it all a dream? What? What's happening? What? Okay. Can I turn on the radio? No? What is happening? Interesting. These must be the daughters. I am... Or is this just like a moment for us to look at what his life is like? Or maybe this is where he goes when he dies. Maybe that's what that last scene was, was like him... Maybe entering heaven? Or something similar? Maybe? Nothing else to do in here. Kiss the wings for me. Tell them I'll be back for Christmas. I'm sorry, Suze. This is the morning he left. Hey, Kaz. I'm sorry it's been so hard. I just wanted to send you this. To say we'll get through it. I know oh. we will. Just take care out there and bring my beautiful big gallus man back home in one piece, okay? 
I miss you, and I love you. And the girls miss and love you. I'm still raging at Roy, but he's a good man, and I know he'll look after you. Whatever happens, we will be all right. We can weather this. Just wanted to say that to you, Kaz. To keep you safe and close and make sure you know to come home to us. I love you, Cameron McCleary. Be safe out there on those waters. My man. My love. Now the question is, did she ever get to actually say that to him? Or is that like something she wrote to him later after that first letter and it's like, nah, he, he didn't get to read that. This was cool though. I'll say that right now. Like, I will say... Even though there were some parts that really scared me and they did a really good job of amping anxiety. Once you kind of catch the vibe of what you're supposed to do, you never truly 100% feel threatened unless you're being chased. The sneaking around parts, I genuinely felt were, could have been a little bit more, I don't want to say like they were too easy, but like, Maybe more dynamics, like make it slightly less just run and hide. Like if you do what I just did throughout this whole game, when it comes to the hiding portion, just utilize every time there's a hole, get in the hole. That's it. You're pretty much safe to go. But I will say the running parts, yeah, they, they, they induce some anxiety in me. But to be fair, it's because I don't play games like this very often. I play horror games, but usually with an action element, just straight up run and hide type games. Again, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan, not because I don't like them, but because they genuinely do scare me, <laughs> right? Because the one thing that gives me control over those moments, which is the ability to fight the thing back, is stripped from you. So you, you can only run and hide. And um, yeah, they do. They get my heart rate up. Like I sweat and I my heart rate goes up. But this was an enjoyable experience. It has actually opened my eyes to maybe I should play more of these types of games. But, I will also say, I loved the setting, the idea of like a bunch of Scotsmen on an oil rig. Really cool, I loved the vibe of the people who were on the oil rig, they really are... Because here's the thing, Scotsmen, look, like, Scottish people in general, right, and Irish people, and even like you know, blue collar UK people are very much like Australians. So for me, it was very much a vibe to like interact with all the people here. The one thing though, I will say, it, it would have been kind of boring, I guess, but it would have been cool to maybe establish the characters a little bit better so that when we see them start dropping, we feel for them more. I couldn't help but feel at times where they were like, it's Bruce, and I'm like, who the fuck is Bruce? <laughs> like, like, I don't know who Bruce is. I don't give a fuck who Bruce is. But the others, it made more sense, right? Like, Dobby and all them. We were introduced to them a little bit better. But I kind of feel, and maybe it's because I didn't interact with everyone. Maybe that's what it was. I should have interacted with everyone better. But generally speaking, a little bit more time spent developing those characters so that we care for them more when we see them in the position they're in where they're like all, you know, fucked up and everything, I think would have hit better. But the other thing I will say I love about this, short, sweet game. Too many games, I think, maybe try to pad things out a little bit too much. Don't get me wrong, I love a great epic game that goes for like fucking 16, 18 hours, right? 20 something hours, right? But when you're doing just a very simple concept of like a horror story that takes place like this or something like that, I like a short, simple game. Like this is great. Short and sweet, doesn't have to be this huge epic. It's just a really fun story within a really cool concept. And this is 100% got like a lot of Lovecraftian like Cthulhu vibes and I dig that. 
um there's something so mysterious about like i don't know you know like deep water crazy supernatural vibes that just like it's the most eerie aspect of the supernatural to me like the i think the idea of werewolves zombies vampires all that stuff is great but something about being deep at sea and there's yeah like even the concept of like underwater sea monsters always hit me different than other things so this really did hit some nerves for me especially the underwater parts and stuff i kind of got better at it as we went i kind of got used to it but the first few parts you saw how i genuinely struggled at, at one point i was like oh man i hate this i hate that i have to go under the water ah it's one of the reasons why i truly do think that if i had to play or something like you know, I've heard of, um, what is it, uh, not Subnautica, because that's more of a fun exploration one, but there's another game I've heard of. People always tell me, like, I would hate that game because it all takes place underwater, and I would just, yeah, I, I, I reckon I would shit myself for 90% of that game. This is cool, though. This was a cool concept. The only thing, like I said, is maybe the hiding bits, slightly more dynamic. And that could be partially maybe because I didn't play on the hardest difficulty. I didn't play on the easiest, but maybe if I played it on a harder difficulty, it would have been harder. I did like, however, the monster design. It is very body horror, very, you know, people being melded and morphed into things. I dug that. I dug that. Like, I got, like, some Junji Ito vibes mixed with, you know, that Lovecraftian horror. It was cool. Really, really cool. Good on them, though. I, I, I'm interested to see what other games these people have made, if they've made others, because that, 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 I might get into it, you know? This, this was cool. I liked this. I really liked, too, that it, it weirdly felt more like an experience than it did even a video game. Like, playing this in VR, I imagine, would be, f oh, yeah, like, that would be the next level. If you could play this in VR, amazing. Especially if you could do some, like, I don't know, four-dimension type shit where, like, when you're outside the ring, you got, like, cold wind blowing on your face and stuff. Oh, oh, man, yeah, that would be too much, but it would be amazing. That would be amazing. And then when you went in the water, your friend just splashed a cup of water in your face. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but, yeah. I wonder, though, it doesn't feel like it would... But I wonder if they considered, because there were times I felt like the game was going to lead you to make a choice. And I wonder if at one point during development of this game, they were considering allowing choices. Like, you can choose to do this, you can choose to do that. And then maybe I think they just took it out. I think it would have been a cool thing if, like, because it'd, be, it'd add another layer to this game. If they re when it like went back into development with it and made it so that depending like obviously a lot of people are going to die but depending on the choices you make and how well you perform more people can be saved or even saved at all like i mean technically no one got saved here but oh there's a lot of this oh it's a uh, like people saying like i think you would love this game and stuff and thank yous and that but yeah generally speaking I think maybe a layer of if you like somehow choices mixed with performance you can actually get off the boat but it may not be the right choice you know what I mean like maybe you should do this because it technically would kill the monster and save everyone if you got off the ship maybe it's actually not a good ending but on top of that maybe you get off the ship with less people or more people depending on how well you perform and the interesting thing would have been a lot of people trying to get off the rig, not the ship, sorry, I kept saying ship, but get off the rig, right? Because they think that's what you've got to do and you've got to save the most amount of people you can, when in reality, that's actually not the best ending. The best ending is to actually do this, which is to destroy the monster or hopefully destroy the monster or whatever it technically is, dimension portal of like scrotum death. That would have been an interesting concept, I think, to maybe run with. Still Wakes, The Deep, really fun game. I actually did quite enjoy that a lot and i loved the idea of doing scottish people on an oil rig like the, too many games like go with the classic american setting because well one it's easier to understand it's easier on the ears i actually really commend them for doing and maybe i don't know maybe they are like a scottish dev group i don't know but i really commend them for doing that because 
it's cool to see different accents and different, you know, vibes coming from a video game instead of just always American stuff. Like, you do sometimes see British stuff, but it's often just American stuff. So it, it's kind of cool to see, like, just Scottish. Fair enough, you know? Like, I'd like to see that more often. Anyway, I had a hell of a time. This was great. I definitely, you know, burnt some calories playing this because my heart rate went up a few times pretty, pretty high, I think. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope to see you guys in the next adventure. Enjoy your night at Edwards over there. Take it easy, boys and girls. Peace out. Oh! Oh no! Oh! No, there's no point in intimidating! No! Ooh! Ah! Okay! Run! Oh my god! Ah! No! Whoa! This is so epic! <laughs> headbutt! Oh, no, I meant Nate headbutt. Ooh, we're lucky to be alive right now. No roll cage or nothing. Oh! That's not good. <laughs>